they weren't very separated in the video. It, it looked like that. Do I still have that or? No, but I, I remember it wasn't, the angle wasn't that high. Uh, so remember they rubbed it, uh, the glass rod against uh, something like fur and then they brought it. And so let's say in that case, it was about 20 degrees here. So let's still assume that the mass of the pit bull was uh, 100 grams. Okay, now let's calculate uh, if I give you the length of the string. So the length of the string is probably about um, uh, 15 centimeters. So now let's calculate the, what the charge of the each pith ball would have to have been uh, for them to repel each other. So now they have to be the same charge, of course. They have to repel each other, right? So then we do the free body diagram on one of the strings. So now you have tension T and then MG. Okay, and then the force of the, the electrical force of that other guy on the on the this pit bull, so it's repelling it. K, Q. Uh, if they're the same charge, then it'll just be Q Q. So it'll just be K Q squared. So now this one is slightly different. I'm not using the uh, I'm I'm just straight out using the force between two point charges. I'm using that equation divided by the R squared, you see. For the other one, I used the electrical field of a plate. Uh, and then I took that electrical field and I multiplied it by the charge of the pit bolt. Okay, so now let's break this up into components. Now this time, this is gonna be uh, opposite, right? So this is gonna be 70. Okay, so this is gonna be 70. And then this one here, Oh yeah, yeah, that's that's a. I just break this up into components. T cosine of seventy, and then this is going to be T sine of seventy. So then I'm going to have T sine of seventy is equal to mg. So it's always the vertical component of the tension, right? Supports the weight. So this is equal to the weight. And then the horizontal component of the tension, T cosine 70 is equal to the force, KQ squared over R squared. Okay, you divide, then you divide this to get rid of the tension, the, to get rid of the tension in the string. So the T's cancel and then you get tangent of 70 is equal to mg divided by kq squared over r squared. Okay, and then uh, I can bring the r squared to the top. And what am I solving for? The q, right? So the q can go up there and then the tangent can go down there. So I have q squared is equal to this one goes up there, so then you have mg r squared uh, divided by k tangent of 70. Let's see, so this one, let's make sure we did that right. q squared goes here, this guy comes down here, so then k tangent 70, and then r squared goes up to the top. Then I take the square root of everything. So then we have Q is equal to square root of MG over K tangent 70. Then the R squared comes out of the square root and you are just left with R. In other words, the further, the further these go out from each other, that means the charges were stronger. You see, that's kind of what that is telling you. Okay, so now in our case, what would be the distance? 
between these? What would the R be? Um, then we would have to do 0.15 if we know the length of the string. 0.15 times what? If this is 70, I can do 0.15 cosine of 70, right? And then double that, double that distance. Right, so R is gonna be 0.15 cosine 70, two times 0.15, so it's gonna be two times 0.15, right, times cosine 70. Or you could say sine of 20, you know. I'm just keeping it at 70 just so that you can see that I'm using both 70 right here. But you could do 2 times 0.15 sine of 20. Okay, let's see what that gives us. Oh, okay. And then the mass, we would have to put 0.1 again times 9.8 over 9 times 10 to the 9th is the Coulomb constant times tangent 70 times two times 0.15 cosine 70. Okay, then I'm expecting when I do this that I'm gonna get an answer in that same ballpark, something like a micro coulomb probably, in that ballpark. Okay, so I get 0.1 times 9.8 divided by nine divided by 10 to the power of ninth, divided by 70 tangent equals, then you square root that. Times two times 0.15. Yeah, make sure this one, you include the 0.15 times 70 cosine equals. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So 0.645 micro -pooler. Yeah, that's realistic. Yeah, so it's kind of weaker charge than the other example. 0.645. A lot of calculations, huh? Any questions on those two examples?